What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough right here on my Gym Leader Draven channel. Yes, it's Sword and Shield now, if you guys haven't caught the, uh, the whole thing right here. And why is that? Because, well, you know, we decided that after three badges, we're going to show both sides of the whole, you know, the whole spectrum right here in both Sword and Shield. And, uh, well, we finally got to Hammerlock. And uh, we met up with the, well, with the chairman of the whole Pokemon League and all that stuff. So now we have to meet him up over at the castle or the stadium or whatnot. But what we're going to do first is we're actually going to have to, you know, heal our Pokemon. Because, yeah, we've been through a lot. And I mean a lot, lot. I mean so much more than good God. It was like a molly whopping and all that stuff. So as you can see, guys, my Pokemon are nice and good and everything and all that stuff. And, well... She's saying that Jeng Mo oh and the uh, rest of your team should be better now. Hope to see you again. Now, here we are in Hammerlock, and let's see what these guys actually sell for, uh, sell to us. Uh, let's see. He sells the original, or he sells the usual, you know, items right there. But this guy right here probably sells uh, TMs, right? No. Sells more Pokeballs and uh, X items right here, as you can see. You can actually buy yourself a Timer Ball, a Dust Ball, and Dive Ball if you guys want to. And, uh, well, I see a Pokemon Trainer right here the BP shop so let's see we don't have any BPs but as you can see you can actually buy yourself some rare candies if you wanted to the BPs are just a little bit difficult to actually get so let's go ahead and take a small tour of Hammerlock now if you guys don't remember we had to go through the Pokemon uh, the the wild area right here the second part of the wild area to get to this place and trust me it was a long and I mean long episode a full hour of just trying to figure out where the heck we were and uh, well, let's see what this guy has to say. He's like, hey, they call me Mr. Focus. I'm so focused and super strong. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you have a good focus. See the power of Mr. Focus. So here it is, guys. We're going to have our first battle of the day. We're going to be taking on Black Belt Brian right here. And well, he's going to be coming out with his cottony right here. Now, obviously, Mr. Focus is kind of like a little bit of a pun saying that, hey, you know, I can... Uh, give you a focus ash in here because yes we are actually going to be getting ourselves wet let me see i think this is the place where we actually get a focus band or something like that so let's go right ahead and kick some butt take some names and all that stuff we're going to be going with the uh, headbutt right here i completely forgot that cottony is a fairy type pokemon and look at that gave it a headbutt was about to faint it has its focus sash and it actually enabled this guy to stay within its you know 1 HP, at least 1 HP, but as you can see, Endeavor just kicked our butts right there, and there it is, Cottony has been defeated, did not notice that it was at level 2, so that is a very, very good strategic way to actually keep your Pokemon, you know, in battle, but as you can see, we defeated this guy, and he's like, you want the battle of focus? Wow, he, he, <laughs> he looks like a big softy after that, it's freaking hilarious, hey, uh, where are you, were you a bit surprised? There are so many ways to battle, right? Okay, I'll pass this uh, Focus Sash on to you because you were so focused. Huh? Well, there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Focus Sash. This is actually a very good item to actually use, uh, you know, during your uh, Gigantamax battles, too. Trust me, guys. A lot of these Pokemon trainers are actually using this. And, uh, well, he says, yeah, study the combination of your Pokemon moves and items and direct your focus towards battle. Okay. All right, I will. And I slammed into that wall. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. What are we looking at right here? So, as you can see, we are in Hammerlock. It is a huge city. Huge, huge city. And uh, with being with it being huge, there's uh, mountains all over the place. And yes, there are shops right here. So let's go ahead and see what we can actually buy. And I think there's a haircut place here too. So let's see. We're going to the boutique. And, uh, well, let's see. Well, we can see the shirts that come out. As you probably already know, I am wearing a sweatshirt because, you know, that's me. Uh, this one is like a boat neck sweatshirt. So a sweatshirt upon a sweat uh, upon a sweatshirt. That's really not gonna fly with me right here. Now, as you can see, we got a tracksuit, a jacket that actually represents whatever Pokemon gym you're at. As you can see, look at that. Oh damn, different colors and everything. But I don't necessarily represent a single gym right here. And uh, well, there's some nice designs. Let's see the pants. The hell is that? Oh, I think yeah. Okay, so right on the bottom, or on the side right there, he's actually going to show what kind of color you, you're representing right there. So yeah, this is track bottoms and all that stuff, and no, no shoes. I, yeah, we got some shoes, of course, or no, that's the backpack. Yeah, definitely no bottoms right there, and well, 
This is, I'm assuming that this place right here is more of a representative to a gym that you actually like. And for me, like I said, I have no affiliation to no gym. And then, uh, let's see. We got glasses, pretty cool, sporty glasses, and nothing else. So we're not really going to buy anything right now. So let's get the heck out of here. All right, let's uh, not do that. And let us move on right here. All right, so there is a, I think this is a haircut place? No, this is a... This is a sweets place, I think. Oh, no, this is... Yeah, this is a restaurant. Now, remember, if you come to the guy right here, he will always battle you. And, uh, yeah, he battles once per day, so just make sure to come up to him, and he'll just, you know, bring it to you. So here it is, guys, another battle. Cafe Master Bernard wants the battle. And he, look at that, warming up his arm, and he is coming out with two fairy-type Pokemon. So right now, I kind of shot myself in the foot right here because, uh, yeah, Drago... Drago is not in the best of, uh, yeah, he's not in the best of situations right here. So, let's go ahead and swap out our Pokemon, and, well, let's go ahead and use Rock Tomb for, you know what, we can't do that. So, let's go with the Waterfall. Let's go to Bernard, the, the Slurpuff right here. So, switching out Drago, and we're coming out with Optimus Prime right here, ready to kick some butt. And here comes the Waterfall attack. Look at that. Oh, wow, Slurpuff. Beefy Pokemon right here, and, uh, <laughs> wow. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, we, 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 yeah, we, we kind of have a battle right here. So let's go with a Razor Leaf, and I guess Rock Tomb will actually do for the Slurpuff right here. So, yeah, both these Pokemon are at level 37. Yeah, these guys are a little tough right now, and, well, there's a the speed. Here comes Razor Leaf hitting both Pokemon, and, damn. Critical hit, but yet we still can't beat these guys. Holy crap. And there's that magical leaf. And say goodbye to Michelangelo. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Okay, and uh, <laughs> energy ball. Okay, so they're, they're, really, they're really whooping us right now. So let's go ahead and use Krakatoa right here. Now, I do remember that Steel-type Pokemon are pretty good against these guys. And I don't have a Poison-type Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and use another Razor Leaf on both Pokemon right here. And let's gang up. Let's see. Smackdown, Stealth Rock. No, let's go Flame Charge. Let's go Flame Charge to the Slurpuff right here. And here we go. And Slurpuff is nearly defeated. But here comes a Dazzling Gleam. And... Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is uh, ridiculous right here. So, we got our butts kicked right now. And there goes Slurpuff. So, it's... Yeah, it, it, yeah, we got to do some training. I'm normally not this, uh, this, oh, wow. And Krakatoa grows to level 36, Shadow Blade to level 29, and Drago to level 32. And look at that, he's learning a Dragon Rage, or Dragon Tail, or, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, Dragon Claw. So now, let's go ahead and take away drag, uh, Dragon Tail, because it, it, you know, it doesn't really serve a good purpose. Drago is a very physical Pokemon, so let's just go with that. And, well, we're going to have to switch out Pokemon right here. So let's go with Big Booty Balto right here. Big Booty Balto, look at that. It's been a while, buddy. I haven't seen you in, like, maybe a few days or so. And here we go. We're going to do the same thing. Just gang up on, uh, what, what's the name of this Pokemon again? Alcremi. Alcremi. Obviously, because, you know, kind of looks like, like, like a piece of cake. And uh, just like that, we defeated Alcremi. And, uh, well... More of our Pokemon, or Big Booty Balto, grows to level 30 right there, and, well, <laughs> I hope that battle was refreshing and smooth for you. Nope, it just told me that I need to level up my Pokemon. And just like that, Krakatoa is evolving. Wow, this Pokemon right here is, uh, look at that. Look at him. So here it is, guys. Krakatoa has evolved into Colossal. And look at that. He just looks he just looks like a tank. A huge tank. Look at this guy. It's a beast. So, uh, Colossal. 9 feet, 2 inches, 684 pounds of pure rock and coal and everything evil and all that stuff. And, well, it's usually peaceful, but vandalism of its minds enrages it. Offenders will be incinerated with flames that reach 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit so that right there is a uh, wow and of course he wants to learn uh, tar shot so let's go ahead and uh, teach it tar shot right here now this is a rock type move 
The user pours Sticky Tar over the target, lowering the target speed stat. The target becomes weaker to fire type moves. Okay, so this is a pretty good move right here. So, yeah, we're going to be switching out uh, Stealth Rock for the time being right here. Now, remember, you can switch out moves every single time. Move the leader, move rem remember is basically the same person right there. So, there it is. We got ourselves a new Pokemon in this episode. And, yes, we're going to be getting a new treat right here, which is a big Malazada. Malazada. And uh, this is Alola Region's uh, local specialty, fried bread. It can be used once to heal all status conditions of Pokemon. Okay, pretty good, pretty good, very good. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be having any more battles right here. So let's just go ahead and just revive Pokemon and then heal them. Eventually, like off screen, I will, you know, heal them and all that stuff. Now, here we are in the, well, in, what was it, Hammerlock. Eventually, I am going to be switching out Pokemon for some new Pokemon teammates, guys. Uh, some Pokemon right here will not be on the team very much longer, but do not worry. We do, we still have Pokemon jobs, so basically the Pokemon that I've had here in the beginning will still get leveled up and they will be used for whatever reason and all that stuff. I already have my eye on maybe one or two Pokemon that I would like to actually have on my team. Now here we have the hair salon place. Eventually I'm going to get my hair, you know, taken care of because, you know, yeah, we kind of need to we need we kind of need to show the difference between you know sword and shield. This is a Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough now that you know I made it official and all that stuff. Now, let's go right ahead and well, let's see. We actually have to meet the the chairman, but if you go right here, you'll actually find another Pokemon Center, and I think this is towards the exit right here. Yes, we are close to Route Six. We will not be passing by right here any further, but we're just going to be healing our p p p Pokemon. Yes, I used up revives and all that stuff for no apparent reason. So, go ahead. Please, re please heal my Pokemon. Now, let's see. My starting Pokemon needs to needs to evolve, too. Because off-screen, I will be, you know, breeding Pokemon. You know, evolving them and all that stuff. Now, if you go right here, talk to this guy. You can actually buy some, actually, uh, some good TMs like Bullet Seed, Fire Spin, Brine Thief. Sandstorm, Rain Dance, Sunny Day, and Hail. So if you guys have enough money, which you probably we probably should, this is the place to go to get some more in, uh, cooler uh, or new TMs and all that stuff. Now, let's see. Ready for the hike? Bought some chocolate. Okay, never mind. So let us let us move on and not cross any more paths right here. Let's see. Um, there is a place right here where you can actually battle some Pokemon. I think. I don't even know. They are battling. And I do see a hidden item right here. Let's go right ahead and grab that. We found ourselves a Muscle Band, which is an item that is held by Pokemon. This headband exudes strength, slightly boosting the power of the physical moves, which is pretty cool. Should give that to a fi uh, Fighting-type Pokemon. Now, if you talk to this person, Toxel are so cool. I really, really want one. If you have, if you got a Toxel, can you please trade it for a Togepi? Now, let's see. I think I've already caught a Togepi. I could be wrong. Hold on. Let's see. It has been a while. So let's go ahead and press that button right here. I do have a Toxel, guys. And uh, let's see. Where is Togepi right here? I think I caught it in the... Uh, yes, I do have a Togepi. It's at level 20. And I think... Hold on just a sec. Looking at this Togepi. It says Draven right there. But let's see. Summary. Uh, rolling Fields. I think I caught it right here. Could be wrong. I don't even know, guys. But yes, uh, if you guys haven't noticed, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, like if you guys are new incoming uh, subscribers and all that stuff, and I know that like I've, I've been hearing it since you know ever this ever since this game came out that you can catch evolved forms. You don't necessarily need to raise these Pokemon anymore. I'm the type of dude that likes to evolve my Pokemon from scratch. Start them off from the, the lower level all the way up to the, their higher level. That's just me, guys. I, I like to know what I'm. I like to know what I have. It's kind of like a truck or a car. I like to know what I have under my hood. That's why I keep a record of everything that I have. Same thing for Pokemon. Very good analogy, especially in in life and all that stuff. So now here we're gonna be going to this house. Let's see what this kid has to say. Would you like to see? Would you like to see if your Pokemon are feeling friendly towards you? Yes, please. Which Pokemon would you like to find out? I am going to be going with one of my starters. Let's go with Drago. Drago has been getting its butt kicked as of lately. And let's see, you and Drago seems like you're pretty good friends. Still, I bet you can become even closer. So, yeah, Drago does not hate me yet because of how many times it's fainted. You want to know if your Pokemon really, uh, really have been giving their best effort? Yes. 
I believe this lady checks your EVs and IVs, I think. So let's go with our starter right here. See what she has to say about her. And uh, that Pokemon. Yeah! It looks like it can give a bit more. Never mind. I don't even know. And what does this person has to say? You and your Pokemon have the potential to become great friends. If you have your Pokemon and hold this item, your friendship may grow even stronger. And, well, there we go. We got ourselves a Soothe Bell. And this item will actually help make your Pokemon a little bit more friendly. Which, you know, could have a lot of, uh, you know, benefits. Like for return. Or, uh, you know, any Pokemon that evolved through happiness and all that stuff. So, here we are going to the western side of Hammerlock. And, yes, like I said, this is going to be a tour of the place. We're not going to be progressing to anything else. Except for Hammerlock right here. Now, we talked to this lady. I raise and live with Rookidy just because I love them so much. I've got nothing to do with f flying taxis. Which is true. <laughs> you, know what's you know what's so funny, guys? It took me quite a while. It ac no, actually, it, it, it took me... F it took for me to play... What? Actually, to start playing this game. To actually start using the flying taxis. Believe it or not, while I was playing Pokemon Shield, I was actually, <laughs> I was actually, literally using the using the the, what, what, the the train and then using my bike to get back to town to town. I actually thought that we had to fly, like literally use the fly technique. Yeah, that's how old school you think I, or that's how old school I am. Now, if you talk to this guy, why, hello there, young man. Are you interested in the weather? Yes, I am. Oh, is that so? Well, then let me get started. If the sunlight is harsh during a battle. Fire type moves become more powerful. Well, water to, uh, type moves be, uh, are weakened. The sunlight, the sunlight will thaw out any frozen Pokemon, and they'll be amusing to, uh, to being frozen while the weather lasts too. Moves that use uh, moves that use light, like Solar Beam, can be performed in one turn. The effects of some other moves uh, also get enhanced, like those from Growth and Synthesis. Certain moves, like Thunder or Hurricane, become less accurate. Thanks for listening so politely. Please take this. And because of that, we get ourselves a Heat Rock, which I think prolongs a, I think prolongs a few turns for like sunny day and all that stuff. Okay, so let's see. We gotta move on right here. Here's another house. This place is big. It is huge, guys. And well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. He's like that old gen in the Pokemon Center is quite a jack of all trades, don't you think? He can make Pokemon forget moves or even have them remember moves they've forgotten. That is true, guys. Now. I think that's one of my favorite, uh, my favorite parts about this game, about this generation in general, is that the that we don't necessarily have to go to a move remember, a move deleter, or anything, or have to pay them like uh, uh, what was it, hard scales or anything like that. Favorite part because trust me, guys, it, it just it, it, it. I don't know. I think that was like for me that was just like you know it took it took the mood away from getting all that stuff. That's why like we all have to resort to cheats and all that stuff just to get. Just to get like hard skills and all that stuff. So let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this lady. We all know the Dragon Tar uh, Dragon's Guard treasure. It's definitely fitting that uh, Ryan's Ryan's the guardian of the vault. Oh, Ryan. I think that I, I think I'm saying his name right. Ryan is the gym leader of this whole location right here. Unfortunately, we're not going to be battling now. If you go to well, if you go towards this area right here, you cannot cross because well, obviously team. Yell right here, yeah. Can't you see we're practicing our cheers here? M A R N I N E. That's how you spell victory. Not really. Not really, but yeah, okay. Wish I had a fan base like that. I think I do. I don't know. That's probably why you guys are my subscribers. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so we're going right here and we're going to grab this. We get ourselves a strawberry sweet. This right here is a uh, when when you give it to a milkery, it holds it and it spins around happily. I I think you can actually evolve. I think Milkery evolves through that. Could be wrong. Comment down below. And they say that the Gala region has lots of old buildings. This is true. I've heard that a lot. That Pokemon in the wild area hide all sorts of things in their dens. There are apparently even odd Pokemon that uh, collect TRs. Hmm. Oh, you don't say. And we see something sparkly right there. Look at that. We found ourselves a rare candy. And well, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this girl. Hello there. You look like someone I must trust. I might trust. You see, there's someone I fancy, and I, 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 I've written him a love letter. Do you think you might deliver it for me? Uh, <laughs> sure. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad I found someone like you to help me. My name is Paula. Here, uh, here you are. This is the letter I want you to deliver. 
and we get ourselves an old letter and that will be going to our key spots right here so this letter is entrusted to you by a girl to be delivered to a boy a stranger it looks old to you deliver it to Frank for me won't you Frank in belly a balonely balon a balonlia balon yeah I can't even pronounce that shit right balonlia that's who you want hmm balonlia it's a few that's a few ways away holy crud all right, so this looks like a chapel right here, and we found ourselves a pair of wise grasses, uh, glasses. And let's see, this is a thick pair of glasses that slightly boosts the special moves of your Pokemon. Oh wow, we're 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 definitely getting some stuff right here. And uh, well, we can't cross this area right here, so now let's go right ahead and uh, go visit the chairman inside the stadium right here. Now remember, this is the place where you can actually battle the dragon type gym leader. The only thing is that. You can't battle him right now. He is the eighth gym leader of this whole region right here. So you're gonna have to wait ways. You're gonna have to wait ways away just to actually get to him. So here we go, going straight into the uh, stadium right here. It's a big old castle. Holy crud! They really, they really did a, a good job with this whole thing right here. So now, here we are in the stadium, and uh, the chairman Rose is actually waiting for us with his uh, scary but sexy assistant right there. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. You look very astute. I like that. Very smart woman right there. Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, have have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you may need on it. Okay, so we're looking at the tablet. So look at that. See? An easy to understand description of the power plant, or the energy plant. First, energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium Tower. Then, it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to the people throughout the region. Okay, alrighty. Our lives in society require various types of energy sources, such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in the wishing stars. And she's whispering to him. Man, she just, like... I don't know, but, like... <laughs> Just look at her, man. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get to move on before Leanna decides to give me another earful. Draven, I suggest you head over to the, the vault next. Just head over to Route 6, towards Route 6 from the stadium, and you should find uh, the vault without any issues. Which we were there in uh, a while back. Now, before we do anything, let's go ahead and go to the ball guy right here. He's going to actually give us another Pokeball. And let's see... He will be giving us a level ball, which, let's see, what what does this level ball do? A Pokeball that makes it easier to catch Pokemon that are a lot lower level than yours. Okay, so this, yeah, never really got the level ball or anything like that, but yeah. <laughs> level balls. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next area, which, we'll, which we kind of were close by. So, let's see. I see Diglets. I see the map. Let's go ahead and uh, use our bike right here, okay? It's just to get there faster now. Let's see. Press the B button, and before we... <laughs> wow. Before we run this guy over, Leon is waiting for us. He's like, Draven! Seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But, Hop. Did something happen to him? He's acting really odd when I ran into him. <laughs> he got his butt kicked. He thought that he could be undefeated because he's related to you. <laughs> oh, man. If ever there was one good thing about Deeb, it is that he gave an ass whooping to Hob. Thank you, Deeb. Shout out to Deeb. You are my hero for right now. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm sorry, Lee. That might be the first time I heard him apologize for anything, and I've had no idea for what it was for. Because he got his butt kicked. Good God. Maybe he's feeling down because he's had some uh, hard losses in battle. <laughs> yeah, he lost the challenger bead. When you lose, you feel down in the dumps. But then there's uh, nowhere else to, uh, to live to go uh, back up. You got to think on why why it was that you lost, though. So that kind of reminds me of the very first episode when I came back here into this channel, and that was in my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough, guys. I was coming in there all smug, cocky and everything, knowing everything, ready to kick some butt, take names and all that stuff, and then Gary beats me in the very first episode. I wasn't down in the dumps. I was in disbelief. I wanted to kick his ass. Well, sad to say that Gary has been defeated, and you know what? 
for me I've been undefeated since then so yes been in defeat undefeated and I want to keep it like that for 2021 and all that stuff so you know that the little brother of mine I think he might be uh, he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer yeah I don't know about that bless and look at the time nearly forgot meeting uh, with the cheer uh, the chairman that Oleana really lets me get lets me hear it when I'm late now if only I remember which way to go uh, anyway I'd say you should go uh, say hello to Ry Ryan. Is that how you say it? Ryan? Ryan? While you're here, Draven. He's the greatest rival I've uh, or ri greatest rival I've got in the final hurdle you uh, have to face in the uh, gym challenge. He should still be around the vault if you hurry. It's just down the way on the way to Route Six. Oh, okay. All right. We have to go to Route Six and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and go to Route Six and. Well, let's try and not run over anybody. And, uh, well, we got no energy to speed it up thanks to, uh, you know, to, or to our good old friend right here. But here we are, the vault. I'm here, baby. And here he is, the the final gym leader, Ryan, or Ryan. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see. What's your name again? Ah, yes. He's looking up his... Uh, his cool doodad right there. Ah, right. Draven. And if Leon himself recognizes your potential, potential, then I guess you'll go, grow into quite a trainer. All the same, though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Ryan has, has to prove they're up, uh, up to it by, he by earning seven badges first. Yeah, I already knew that. Ah, so you're here to see our treasures, are you? Yes. Getting a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me. Why don't you? Okay, so we're going to be going into the vault right here. We're going to be checking out some history. I like history. Favorite subject back in high school and all that stuff. And look at that. Look, look at all them trophies right there. I'll even spare you one of my league cards. Okay, so we're getting a league card right here. And we're going to be putting that in our album. And he's like, now you go. If it's the vault you want, uh, if it's the want you want, it's up those stairs there. Okay, let's go. I'm going to walk in there and dominate. So, let's see. We're in a castle. What do you think we're going to be finding? Pretty cool stuff? Awesome stuff? I don't know. Everything's good. I'm just like, I'm, I'm amazed of this game every single time I play it. Now, we see an item right there. Let's go ahead and grab it. Here we have the TM29 charm. Pretty good move to actually uh, lower your, your, your attacker's stats or attack stat. And I think there might be another item right here. It has to sparkle or something. I don't know. Can it sparkle? I don't know. Okay, so let's go inside the vault right here. And let's see what we can actually find. And would you look at that. Mm, our girlfriend's right here. Look at her. Look at her. How you doing, girlfriend? Oh, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there's still a treasure ta tapestries that uh, can tell us uh, Gallows' history. Look at that. The two you or the two yous watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. Oh damn! Look at this. The yous looking on the sword and shield that can stop the disaster. Huh. The yous being crowned. Crowned, I should say. Well. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of the kingdom in Galar. Say, young gym challenger. What sticks out to you the most about them? Well, it has to be the whole two kings thing, probably. Because who who's ever heard of two kings? Unless, you know, they swing the other way, but I don't even know. So I'm just going to say uh, the darkest day, because you know what? <laughs> the darkest day. Let's go with the darkest day. Right! That's got to be it. The story of the black storm that the bo uh, that blotted out the skies was passed on through the uh, years as a tale of, of disaster. That's what the, the darkest day is. Was there really w only one hero, or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Hmm, I don't even know. Maybe the darkest nights. I don't even know. <laughs> Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm going to research the tapestries a tad bit. Uh, but you you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you. So take a couple of these. I hope to see uh, more win, uh, more of your wins. So here it is, guys. We got ourselves two revives. Probably not going to misuse them or anything like that. But 
that is pretty much it for this right here, guys. Look at that. Oh, wow. Holy crud. Okay, so... Yeah, this is uh, the start of the history of Galar. Eventually, it's going to get a little crazy, which I will be showcasing both versions of it, you know, with both the Sword and Shield version and all that stuff. But yes, in our next adventure, we're going to be going into Route 6, finally going into the next town. Again, this location right here. Holy crud, never mind, hold on. Hold on, hold on, he still needs to talk to us. The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of the Galar region's past. I suppose if we've got the modern, uh, any modern hero, it'd be our champion, Leon. Listen up, Draven. Your goal is to defeat the superstar, Leon. So go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to Stow on, uh, Stow on Side. Stow on Side, huh. Weird town names, weird city names. Stow on Side. So yeah, guys, uh... Let's see, before I go, before I do anything, yes, this is this is going to be done. So, I did mention that I am going to be, I am going to be switching up my team. I think I already know which Pokemon I'm going to be changing it up. So, let's go right ahead and do it before I even forget right here. Now, as you can see, I did label two boxes as team uh, teams and then teams two because there's going to be quite a few teams that we're going to be having here. Now, mind you... I am playing Pokemon Shield. I will have a separate team on that one too, just because you know I kind of want to showcase the the uh, what was it called the native Pokemon right here, but still level up my Pokemon that I have right like that I've captured along the the way. As you can see, I got I've, I've been catching plenty of the old Pokemon that I've had in different versions like Desert Storm, Shatter, Hell Gaia Gaia One and Gaia Two. Hell, we might even. I don't even think I... Well, yeah, I can't evolve that, that Eevee right there. But, yeah, you guys get what I'm talking about. I'm going to be collecting Pokemon. I'm going to be leveling them up because I can with the Poke Jobs and everything. So, the three Pokemon that I've decided to actually switch out is very simple. Michelangelo is one of those Pokemon that I, I've, uh, you know, has been very, very um, reliable. But right now, I think Krakatoa takes the win because it is a Fire-type Pokemon. And I definitely need a Fire-type Pokemon. The second one is Big Booty Balto. Now, I know he's been a fan favorite, probably because of, you know, the name and all that stuff, but I think I found a Pokemon that I want to use for the next, the second half of this whole thing right here. And the third one, uh, let's see, well, let's see. These two right here, this one's a, sh this one's a toss-up. Okay, so the next one is going to be Shadow Blade right here. Now, off-screen, I will be evolving it into uh, Corviknight. It is a, a pretty awesome Pokemon, and yes, I will be using them from time to time. So this is another Pokemon that I want to actually put in to the PC. Now, the three Pokemon that are coming back, or that are coming in, very, very simple. Hatten, uh, Hatena, Hatena, Hantena, or whatever, right here at level 26. I believe I got this Pokemon through a trade, or I caught it somewhere. So there it is, level 26 Hatena, Psychic-type Pokemon, eventually it turns into a Fairy-type Pokemon. Something that we desper uh, desperately need right here. And, of course, the ability ha it has the ability Healer. Sometimes it's he it heals its ally status condition. And then it has some pretty good moves right now. And, well, let's see. It doesn't say if I traded or anything, but I think I traded this Pokemon right here. Now, the next Pokemon that I want to use, it's very, very obvious, Toxel. The Pokemon that I actually found over in uh, in the, uh, what was it, the Pokemon Daycare, I don't know what they call it right here. It is at level 1, but thankfully we do have, uh, you know, the the experience share works for everything. So, as you can see, Toxel is both an electric type Pokemon and poison type Pokemon. With this whole thing going on where, like, it's going to get experience, it will be up to, uh, up to, up to level uh, pretty soon right here. Now, let's see, it does have the ability Rattled, which it... Which basically means that Dark Ghost Bug type moves scare the Pokemon and boost its stat as speed stat. Now, there's its move set, not too big, but here's the here's the big one. It's pretty hardy nature. So what the deal is this? This Pokemon has two forms that it can evolve to: a high note and low note. From what I'm uh, from what I'm understanding, if it has any kind of nature that is uh, basically high note, kind of like you know happy or anything like that. It will be the high note Pokemon. Low note, of, of course, will be like, you know, naughty nature or anything like that. So, more than likely, I will be having this Pokemon Toxel in Shield version. That way, I can actually show you both versions right there. 
And then the next Pokemon I want to actually use, it's very simple, guys. Somebody had mentioned it right on the comment section on a, on a few episodes ago, and I found this guy. Yes, guys, we're going to be using Farfetch because this guy has an evolutionary form right here in the Galar region. It actually evolves into, uh, into uh, Surfetch. And this Pokemon right here, holy crud, when I battled it, it was, uh, it was just scary strong. Very, very strong. Now, it is not a flying type Pokemon. It is a fighting type Pokemon right here. But it does have a very high attack. It does have Steadfast. The Pokemon is Determination. Boosts the speed stat each time it flinches. Now, here's a few of its moves that you can actually see right here, guys. Leer, Fury Cutter, Rock Smash, and Brutal Swing. Very, very physical Pokemon. And, well, it is a lonely nature. A lone wolf kind of thing. But, yes, these are the Pokemon that I will be having on the team. Again, in in Pokemon Generation 8, you can switch out Pokemon every single time. You can level them up, and it's going to be fantastic, guys. Now, here's another thing, too. I'm actually going to be showcasing this right now. But check Poke Jobs. So, as you can see, we got new jo job postings. Here we have help with uh, cooking. We need fire type Pokemon. So I can, if I have six fire type Pokemon, I'm gonna send those six fire type Pokemon, and they're gonna be, you know, growing up. Now, off screen, I will be using, I will be sending a lot of Pokemon along the way. That way, they can actually uh, gain some levels. Uh, more than likely, I'm not going to be using any of my Pokemon that I have on my team. So some of these jobs might not be done, but you'll be seeing some of my Pokemon pretty soon, leveled up and everything. Do not worry, guys. You have the move deleter, remember, and all that stuff to actually help you uh, remember moves and all that stuff. Now, another thing, too, if they're close to evolution or they pass evolution, you do have experience candies and rare candies and all that stuff. So thank you guys again. In the next episode, you guys will be finding out the nicknames of these three new Pokemon that I have put on my team. And, uh, yeah, we're ready to go. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.